So um, Cynthia showed me this cool looking, like you would take it to a party or you would make it for your party. It's a snack tray. And I was like, what do you mean a snack tray? So she showed me the picture and she kind of challenged me to be able to make it. I haven't made one before. <laughs> I saw the picture. I was like, I it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I could yeah. probably do it. So it's like a vegetable tray and you put in all different vegetables, which I have right here, like carrots, celery sticks, what is it? Little baby tomatoes, maybe some broccoli, cauliflower. All of this I just had in my refrigerator right now when she mm -hmm. came over. Um, then you use colorful bell peppers. So we have red, orange, green, and yellow. I think we're gonna use one of each. Mm -hmm. So let's pick out, like I'm gonna use this red one, kind of flat ones. Yeah. And the reason I chose this was because it is training day. Oh, it's training day. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then we'll use this yellow one. Okay, so we can probably push that. Oh, and then I need one cucumber to be so the tray. We'll on the side? Yeah. So that we can see what we're, what doing. we're doing. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. This is my trash bowl. And the cucumber, you'll see, is not cut up or on this tray to go in the train because the cucumber is going to be the train wheels used with picks so, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna make the and then Cynthia is gonna make the dips because since she has been introduced to this onion dip oh my god it's my favorite it seems to be the only thing <laughs> she wants to have from now mm -hmm. so um what color do you want the trains like oh, like the, the beginning of the train to be the, oh, uh, red red is yeah. the like the leader the head of the train mm -hmm. So let me see. So the train is going to, that would be the head. So I'm going to cut yeah. off the top. I'm just going to cut off the top and I'm going to fill this. Then these are going to lay like this. Sideways. To, oh, our train's not big enough to be part of the train. Like that. Well, I'm going to do three. It's a small train. But this is my head of my leader. Uh, That's okay. I'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, more. Like, you yeah. want to use this? Yeah, can I use that train? Let me see if that train is big enough. Okay. Let's see. I don't think that tray would be big enough, but or she might be right. Maybe I can only make three. But you know me, I always like to go larger. So let's see. If I have the head of the train, mm -hmm. and then this, we'll have this is a, like a, a, a what do you call them? Like cargo? Yeah, cargo. This one, and then that one. Mm -hmm. They'll just be up a little bit. That's a, oh, we'll have the head of the train go like that. So yeah. it'll be like that. That's our train. Or maybe I'll just lay it on. But you but know what? Start. When you put the wheel, they're not going to be able to see oh, So that's so why I was saying like a flat board surface or something. Okay, we'll just do it right on the table. You know, our table is clean. clean, so. Yeah. All right, let's put that down here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut the head of the train. So you kind of need a large platter whenever you want to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the top of the train. This is going to be like our, you know, the stack. The... I'm not going to cut it all the way. Yeah, there you go. I'm not going to cut it all the way because I want it to have like a little, uh, it's like a floor, like a window. Yeah. Like a, so I'm going to take all that out, cut it around. You're going to cut out all the stuff that's in, so these bell peppers are pretty much your, what do you call it? Like the holder of your, of your uh, vegetables. Yeah, watch. So I'm just going to scoop all that out. And look, at, there's the front of the train. Oh, that's so cute. You're going to put all the dip in there after she finishes the dip. Mm. So then our next thing is going to go right there. Mm -hmm. uh, and for so that, so I'm going to find the flattest part of the, okay, I think that's pretty flat, don't you? Yeah. It will sit flat. So I'm going to cut, like I just did that one, halfway down. Not even halfway, not even like, it's like you're cutting like a fourth of it off. Like, so like that, I'm going to scoop out all these, uh, without cutting it, I'm going to scoop out all these seeds. Let's see. I'm going to make mine, oh, I kind of cut open. Oh, I cut too much. But that's okay. I cut too much, Cynthia. I'm cutting off this little stem. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to scoop out all this stuff. Scoop it out. I would rinse it out real good. You know, this is a good idea for for parties, like for like kid parties. Mm -hmm. Kids love trains. Oh yeah, it would be a a nice snack tray. Also, Christmas time. Mm -hmm. You know how they put the 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 little 
choo-choo train under the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. If you yeah. have a dinner with your family, you make a choo-choo, make Look, it Christmassy. This one has a little latch. Look, see how, so it could be like latching oh, on. Okay. Is that like cute? So I'm going to put it that way. So this one, I'm going to have it in the same way. I think this one's going to be like a big cargo, like a, um, like a, um, oh, this little, um, this little, uh, what is this thing called? A green pepper was having a baby. Look, there's little baby peppers oh, inside. Little, little baby, baby peppers inside. So we're gonna clean all this out. This one, it's gonna be like a flat bed, like a like a uh, what do you call those? Um, uh, just a flat, you know, like it might have dirt or or, or oh, I don't like know what you call it. that train, like not a not a cargo train, but a flat train. So we're gonna put that one in there. Look, it looks like it's attached oh, to that nice. one with that little. Thing. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put in our last one, which I think I'll make just like this one. Yeah, just scoot it down a little bit. That's the flat side. These are so cute. This is so <laughs> easy to make a little. Oh, I still gotta put the wheels on though, huh? It's adorable. I like it. So, what is your dip again? Tell everybody. What did you a, use this This with? is an onion dip. Yeah, she loves it. Oh my god, it's so delicious. <laughs> it's that Lipton, right? Onion dip, and you made it with sour cream yeah. and the Lipton and the soup mix. Okay, so we're gonna clean all that out. Look, this one has a little tail too, so it looks like they're latched together, like how a train yeah. would be latched together. So now, can I look for a second? Which one? The bowl. The whole bowl. bowl. I want to scoop up more of the Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna make the train wheels. And the wheels are gonna be made out of kind of thick. So how many? I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, sixteen. These are going to be the wheels, so I need 16 of those. One, kind of thick. Two, three, four, two, three, three. So that they look like train wheels. You know, you don't want something that's too thin, then that will look like it can hold the train. All right, I think I counted correctly. We will see. I'm going to take these toothpicks. So, it says to take the toothpick. So, let's try this first one. I'm going to take the toothpick. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the toothpick and poke it right through and attach a wheel to it. Oh my God, Cynthia, look at that. But I think you got to attach the wheel on the meaty side, like that. Oh my god, that looks so cute. I'm just gonna do this side. You would do both sides, but you guys can only see one side. Yeah. So and then I'm gonna take this toothpick probably towards the front. Come right through. And I'm gonna put this wheel on. Oh, so how do I wheel? And you can right in the front of them, and then you have them standing up so they look like cargo. Mm -hmm. Is that not cute? Mm -hmm. So you put all the carrots in. I still got some wheels to put on, but for purposes of this video, oh, one, of my, one of my passengers jumped ship. <laughs> so you can make it as long as you want, mm -hmm. put different snacks on it. You can put chips, I mean, everything yeah. that is for the dip. Exactly, right. but you're beautiful. You can, <laughs> yeah, she said one of the dip, maybe on another train you can have salsa. You oh, know what I mean? Like an all the stuff right now. <laughs> and she's been waiting all day to try that. <laughs> oh, she yeah. loves it. Oh my god, you did a beautiful job. It, okay? mm -hmm. it looks so colorful and fun. That's beautiful. Right? Oh, it does. It's fun um, using food to express yourself or to like very creatively. Mm -hmm display food like when you go to like buffets or or, not, or like yeah i guess like buffets mm -hmm. or like um 
like brunches, like Mother's Day brunch, or you know, yeah. the ice sculpture and the way that the chefs that's decided right. to display their food. I always found that really neat. And that's right. In the culinary arts, color yes. is very important, definitely, because it's appetizing to the eyes. Mm -hmm. right? It's appealing, mm -hmm. appealing and appetizing. Food, the food, and then the food tastes good too. Oh, it has to taste good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this activity, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.